How's it going everyone? It's Nutty New here, Anchorage, Alaska. Today I want to talk about getting your car registered or if you bought a new car, how to go about getting it registered and title and all that stuff, fees and all that stuff. So for anyone that might be coming to Alaska or might be new, this might be some information, informative information for you. But please make sure you check out the Alaska DME website for more official stuff. These are just some tips and stuff that I learned from experience. I apologize for the low quality video. It's kind of dark out here. So when you buy a car in Alaska, whether it's new or used, there is no sales tax. So I know that in California, when you buy a car and you go to a DMV, you gotta pay an extra money, depending on how much you pay for your car. We don't have that up here. You just pay the fee for the registration fee and the renewal fee, the title, whatever that is, and that's all you got to do. There's no sales tax or so stuff like that. We don't do that. The other thing that um, a lot of people don't know is that registration lasts two years. You do, you have to renew every two years. It's not like other states where it's every one year. So Alaska has it every two year. So when you pay for registration, which is about two, 200 bucks or so, I think right now, it renews every two year. We also have a thing called permanent registration. And I think that applies to people that might be out of Anchorage or people that are over a certain age or year. And usually when you get that, instead of having the year extra, the expiration year, the 2021, whatever the year may be, it has like a Z as in zebra or it has a P as in Paul. <laughs> So registration, that's the registration right there. And usually to get the title fee, it's about 15 bucks or so. Um, I might be, don't quote me on this, the pricing might be different. And then registration, as far as what I've heard, registration is about 200 bucks, so it's pretty expensive. But again, it lasts two years. Filling the title is really easy. Um, there's a vehicle trans transaction application, which is an 8124. You put in the car, the information of the car, your name, mailing address, etc., etc., and then you send in, you take the title with you, and you get it swapped over. Really simple, nothing crazy, nothing test, and then you pay the fee for it. So in my in my scenario, mine's a little bit different, guys. So I'm gonna talk about my scenario here a little bit. Um, I believe since last year, they require insurance now. So if you bought a vehicle or you got you're getting a new title for a new vehicle, you have to activate insurance first before you go in there and get it because they're gonna ask for proof of insurance so that's something that's new and i think that happened last year then bring that proof of id to them when you get there when you go and get your registration or title replaced because back then they didn't do that back then you just needed your title the form the application form that's it and then you can get insurance afterwards but now they require you to get insurance before so i want to talk about my scenario my scenario is a little bit different so my scenario is that i have an auction vehicle so I want an auction vehicle, a forfeited vehicle by the city. And what they do is they give you a bill of sale. So this is a bill of sale of motor vehicle and it gives you the information of the car, the previous owner, and then it says here, uh, this vehicle was forfeited to the Muni of Anchorage, Muni facility of Anchorage, and the court documents, blah, blah, blah. All the, it has all the court documents of why it was forfeit and etc and it's been approved by the judge and etc etc so you take this in and then this is basically your title you still fill the vehicle transaction form and then you're supposed to get a new title with this so i did this last week i did this last week and they gave me an issue they told me that i needed to fill another form or they told me that the company that gave me this vehicle or that i bought this vehicle from the tone company they told me that the tone company needed to fill a different form which is an 826 form it's a claim of ownership slash involuntary lien. But then the company is like, no, we've been doing this for 15 years. We have never had to do that. You need to go back to the DMV and talk to a supervisor. So that's what I'm here to do. So if they give me any issues today with this form because I have all the legal documents. I'm going to call a supervisor. I'm going to be a Karen, a nice Karen, a nice good male Karen. So we're going to talk to the supervisor because the supervisor knew, should know what they're doing. Last time when I came here and the guy that helped me, he seemed like he was a bit newbie because he looked at the form. He's like, um, do you have a title? I'm like, this is my title. And then he went and asked somebody and they're like, oh, you still need an 826 form. So this time we're going to make sure we talk to the supervisor, the big boss that knows what they're doing. And hopefully we can get you a title. So I'm going to go in real quick, get my appointment and I'll let you guys know what happens. It's really cold now. And also with the DMV, you got to make an appointment because of C-19. So you can't just walk in here anymore. You have to make an appointment and uh, it's free. You can just do that online. They're usually like two or three days booked out. So just to make sure you uh, plan ahead. Here's what the new DMV looks like on these Midtown. This is the Midtown DMV. It actually looks smaller. It's actually smaller than the original one on Benson and Northern Lights. 
So this is the smaller one now. I also forgot to add that in Alaska, we do not require emission tests. So you do not need to pass any kind of emission on your vehicle. No testing, none of that stuff. So that's really awesome for the state of Alaska to provide that. Okay, so we didn't get the title. The gentleman I spoke with, he was a little bit more knowledgeable. He looked it up. He's like, yeah, you have everything, but you need the vehicle here because we have to do a VIN inspection. So God be darned, I didn't drive it here today. If I knew it, I would have drove it here because we do have it running. So the vehicle has to be here for inspection if you're doing like your forfeit car, auction cars. So um, if your car isn't running, you can, um, they do have a bond guy or somebody that comes out there and do an inspection to your place where wherever the car is, but it does cost a little bit more. There's a fee to it. So we got rescheduled for next week because that's their next available date. <coughs> so next week we'll drive the full runner here and have them inspect it and all that good stuff. So yeah, so that's the learning process. This is my first time, so I didn't know about that. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll keep you guys updated in the comic section. And once I get this thing done, for the most part, hope you guys find this video informative and I'll see you guys next time.